What's going on, Hood Nation? Ninja here, DFX. Welcome back, Truly Indie Studios. Chun Li and M. Bison skit. Yo, man, this is like one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, they've taken a break for a while and they're back now, and that's obviously good because I was worried about that. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get my Patreon up and going again for them. Before we begin, though, please watch the original full screen as part of my blab because I did not shut up. Also, they are totally cool with the reactions, and like I said, please consider supporting on Patreon like we do. Um, actually, what happened was is my Patreon got banned. <laughs> I didn't know that. Found out just a little bit ago. Uh, I don't want to get into too much details, but in a nutshell, was stupid misunderstandings. Blah 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 blah. And I'm gonna cut that. And let's get started. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I get to that commercial real quick. Those two commercials. Like I said, y'all, no pressure. But that's uh, helps them get this paid. This episode is brought to you by our awesome Lucky sponsors Child. and endless teas. If you'd also like to trap get music. shirts like these, be sure to click the link in the description below for an exclusive twenty percent discount. I do like that. Just for being a truly indie viewer. Thanks, endless <laughs> teas. Now it's Little time Mermaid. To <laughs> I like that. Right? I'm gonna put the Aquaman up in there. And I need a new light now because that light is dead. I sucks. I spent eighty dollars on that thing and it's a dud. It only lasted like a year, and of course warranty's gone. Here's my jam right here. Wait, I gotta make sure this. Is... It's been so long since I heard it. I just don't know if they sped up the song music or if this is out. So as you can see, I was already having a pretty rough year, and then Nicki Minaj had to go and write that song about me, and first of all, I do not need that kind of attention on me right now, <laughs> and secondly, has she ever even been to a Street Fighter tournament before? <laughs> it's like your anaconda don't want none of that Minaj song, huh? Um, let's uh, get back oh, to God. talking about why you want to stop being a Street Fighter. Uh, quitting your job is not going to solve your problems. Doc, have you not been listening? My job literally is my problem. Oh no, I, I listen. I, I always listen. Yeah. I'm here for you. To put that game is down, it, Blair. Um, I don't know. Uh, too much kicking. You know, it's Inside, not the though. kicking. I like that. I got into this to take down M Bison and avenge my father. And how that work out for you? It's just the same thing every single day. <laughs> I enter a tournament, fight mostly the same schmucks, and I battle my way until I win again. But winning is a good thing, right? They're hollow victories. They don't mean anything. That's interesting. Explain that to me. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I win a tournament, and another one immediately replaces it. Yeah. I take down an opponent, She's stuck and I pop right back up and start fighting again. She's stuck. It's like I'm in some repetitive game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst part was that I finally made it to the finals of the World Warrior Tournament, and I finally took down M. Bison. <laughs> But did he stay down? Nope. Well, sure. <laughs> Had to fight him again in Champion Edition Tournament, yep. in Turbo Hyper Fighting, <laughs> in New Challengers, in Grandmaster. Yeah, they're all I called mean, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not done. There's more. Anniversary Edition, Alpha, Warrior's Dream, even Street Fighter Zero Two. Who names these things? I know. But it's, <laughs> uh, I mean, As a kid? back in '99. Oh, uh, she's probably might drop the but a funny yeah, but yo, like yeah, when they kept coming, I was like, why aren't these just called like? Three, four, five, six. Like, in a nutshell, what they should have been called is like, you know, today now, you get a video game, a new hero drops, like, they just update, it's like patch version one point. That's really all they all should have been. Minus when they went to alpha because of the whole looking graphic, but the, you know, you know, I mean, the original Street Fighter 2, that's all just patches. That's really all it was. Just an excuse to sell a whole nother game. No, right? Ugh. I mean, Back in 99, I thought I had finally taken him down for good. I even retired to go teach the kids martial arts. But you know what? A few years later, guess who comes knocking on my door? That's right, Mr. Bison. So what do I do? Go back to Interpol, Kick the shit out of him. the tournament circuit, and here I am, fighting M. Bison. Not gonna again, lie. And again, and again, Chun and again, thighs it, are it just insane. never ends. But you know, maybe that's the point. Bison is sort of the, the yang to your yin. And you know, without you, his evil plans for world domination through his shadowy syndicate of Shadowloo would come to fruition. But see, that's um, that's just thing, it. <laughs> I am so tired of this stupid vendetta. I mean, I've avenged my father like a million times already, and honestly, I'm kind of getting over it. Ouch. But are you though? Mm -hmm. I'd like to try something if you're okay with it. <sighs> sure, you're the doctor. Janet, you can send him in. Oh no! 
Usually we All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit here. Like I said, we're just going to be commercials. Put money in your pockets. No pressure. Let's just say a good example. All right, everybody, we are back. That was a well, two long commercials. Each one of them are about three, four minutes. But that's all right. Like I said, y'all, unless it's like an hour long, then I'll skip it. But, you know, anyways, let's just get started again. <laughs> Dick move. She just sits there. I'm surprised she hasn't got up and... Yuck, 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 <laughs> Don't my light light, girl. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Where comes the kicks? Yes. Who are you? Oh, she keep talking. No, I told you, done. I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, so you have come, Mr. Bison. You got daddy oh, issues now. About <laughs> you statements. Please use I statements and and tell Chun Li why she's important to you. Well, daddy issues. I believe that I do not want to live in a world that has no nemesis. Hmm. I like to rise to the challenge of my rival. There is no. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. In defeating the useless. There's no happiness in overthrowing a government from the shadows. I need a challenge. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Little girl, you are... <gasps> You're the daniel son to my Johnny. Mm. The Thor to my Loki. The, the, uh, the Rocky Balboa to my Ivan Drago. Uh... You and I are nemesis That's... circling Tammy, I thought. In the sun. I need you. Oh, I mean, I guess Rocky is pretty cool. Well, pretty cool. <laughs> if you think that smaller, shorter, and genetically inferior is cooler, yeah. Ooh. You do realize that Rocky wins at the end of Rocky IV, don't you? Mm -hmm. Unlike someone else? <laughs> See, that's mm. what I'm saying. You two can be rivals without being enemies. And Miss Lee, this is really the first oh God, time I've we're starting ever like seen a Naruto you rival engage with or Black Clover. And You're my rival. Out, I think this rivalry is something that you actually enjoy. So why would you walk away? You killed your dad. Gee, I don't know, Doc. Yeah. Maybe because M Bison murdered my father. <laughs> yeah. I apologize for that. <laughs> I was a I was a different megalomaniacal dictator back then. I was in a bad place. Oof. And anyway. You've killed me many times since then. Oof. Many punches to the face. Many broken ribs. Many, many kicks. kicks to the groin. I was gonna say, kicks to the many nuggets. <laughs> heart stomps. That ball of orb. Many deaths. Yes? Yeah, well, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. In her own way. No, no, I'm sorry. I just, I can't. Because you know yeah. why? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go back to the same damn tournaments every single Don't day. Don't trust them. And you know what? I need a hard stop, okay? If I don't change something soon, I am literally going to go insane. Uh-oh, Dark Chun-Li. But, but Chun-Li, you know, you're a hero. Surely there's no, a- No, no, you see, that, that is just it. Why do I always have to be the good guy? Why do I always have uh -oh. to save the planet? What if I wanted to spice things up a bit, you know? Uh -oh. What if I wanted to be the bad guy from the time, eh? Has anybody Th ever asked the me? The time of the month, player? Well, you know that we just happen to have an opening at Shadowloo for a woman with your particular set of skills. Starts at six <laughs> figures and medical. Whoa, Ooh, what tempting. about dental? Do you think that we're going to walk around and get punched in the face as much as we do and not have dental? You got some good teeth, bro. Company car? Lincoln. What does it say? MKZ. Jet? Or a 2018 <laughs> Jeep Grand Cherokee. You have company cars? Yeah. Hmm. I'm prepared to offer you right now. You should ask for a job there. Vice President <laughs> of Anti Interpol Activities with your own you corner. You could be the therapist for the for Executive people. assistant. All the donuts you can eat and Don't. front row parking. Go right to your thighs. You know what, Mr. Bison? <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Thanks, Doc. This is exactly what I needed. Uh. Thanks, Doc. Do you need an in-house therapist? Yeah, exactly. Jen, Jen, I need to update my resume. <laughs> yes, I was thinking that. You know the name? Uh, I'll play the game. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. 
Oh, it's over. Right at the end there. I suppose that was a good time Hello, to cut everybody. it. My name is Kevin Porter, and I play M. Bison, and we just wanted to thank yep, you so it's much. Kevin for Porter. As much fun as it was watching, it You're was back. much more fun up here doing it. Absolutely, and I'm Jade Kim. I played Chen Li, but you knew that. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and do not forget to tap that subscribe button, and that way you can get notifications every bell. time we upload. The bell. The bell. The bell. And I'm Brian Suskin. I play Doctor Huntoon. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. <laughs> There he is, Sean. John Pichnito. I'm the director. I make the things happen on the With screen. The camera thing. Yes, <laughs> it's true. That's a horrible <laughs> robot, guys, bro. Uh, uh, and we got such <laughs> awesome people always helping us. Want to uh, shout out uh, Aaron Spurlock for uh, always being there Aaron. and helping us out, and his uh, brother Brian as well. Aaron was just on. Um, he was on my podcast the other day, Reaction Squad podcast. Hung out with him for about an hour, asked a bunch of questions and everything. He runs Bat in the Sun, for those of you who are wondering. It's totally cool to have them part of the team. Uh, and then we've got some cool, pretty cool sponsors. Uh, yeah, we got a sponsor. Oh, we got our Patreons. Yeah. Um, they're totally awesome, and they help yeah, us they make are. this show. Uh, we've been away for a little bit, but now we're back in action. We're fighting again. Um, and uh, <laughs> also, um, uh, ooh, look at this T-shirt I have on. Pretty fan. I want one of those. I want one of those. Hot. Where's that from, Sean? Where's that from? Uh, that's from a little company called Endless Tees. Woo! They totally sponsor our channel. Awesome and they're stuff. badass. Fire. We love you, Endless Tees. We love you, Endless Tees. We love you, Endless Tees. <laughs> Thanks to everybody for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs> that is a pretty bad. I like some of those shirts. Hey! Do a pose. Everybody do a pose. <laughs> You're so, done. You got to do a pose, too. That was, that that was, was a pose. Yeah. Ready? And Crane, go. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have too much damn fun when you make these videos. And uh, not wrong with that. I'm just being cheeky. But yeah, no, definitely cool. Nice welcome back. I hope this takes off because for some reason it's like this channel is just not blowing up the way I, I thought this shit was gonna hit like a million subscribers in not even like six months. But um, taking that huge break, ooh, very risky, especially now YouTube, the algorithm and everything. One thing y'all didn't mention, though, is I'm going to say it right now to some of my viewers. When you guys subscribe, make sure you turn that bell on for them. Uh, very good episode. I thought it was funny. Some of the jokes I kind of caught ahead of myself. And I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I, I didn't watch it, by the way, before. Because some people accuse me like, oh, you clearly watched it because you just seem to know what the hell is going to happen. I was just, it's my brain's like that. Sometimes you can kind of pick up where they're going. Cause, and that, to me, is what makes it humorous a lot of times, the stuff I watch. That's why I like this stuff. Because I can relate with it. Because my brain is thinking what they're thinking. It's almost like you know, when you... When a, when a comedian says something, you go, "Yep, yep, yep." I know exactly. I know exactly where you're going. I know. I know what you're saying. Like, and they bring up that moment in your life where you can relate to what they are about to say as the punchline of the joke, and your brain goes right there, right away. And that's why you know the answer before it's even said. But it's still funny, even though you knew the answer. You know, sometimes it could be annoying, but in this situation, comedic reasons, it's to me, it's kind of more funny. As long as it's still done right. There, there could be poor execution where I go, oh, haha, I already knew that was coming. But this one's more like, it's, it's just like a relatable, like a, er, but yeah, it's, it's like looking back at it, it's funny. Because you're poking fun at the stupidity of the situation, right? That, that's what made it funny. Anyways, y'all, hope you guys like my reaction to this and everything. You want to join Hood Nation and all that jazz? A chance to do so. It's going to be like on this side. This side, you know, some other stuff to get your feet wet, but... Any cup of tea, y'all go find it. it's out there. Believe it. This is Ninja from DFX. Mouth.